And here we are today in a lovely kale crop. Kale is one of the main winter feed crops that we grow to feed our stock over winter. It's a critical period and animals seed something to eat and kale is definitely there to fit the bill. However, one of the issues we have with kale is our stock is not the only thing that wants to eat it. So we're going to have a closer look today at some of the other insects and things which are hiding in our crops which we might need to deal to. So on the underside of the leaves, the white butterflies uh, will lay their eggs and they're quite distinctive. If you have a look here, we can see one sticking out from the underside of the leaf. They are quite um, distinctive in the way they stick out from the leaf and they sort of a whitey yellow colour. And if you look them under the hand lens, you'll see they have distinctive lines going down the side of them. So that egg will sit there on the underside of that leaf and then a caterpillar will hatch out of that egg. And it looks tiny at the moment, but that same egg will hatch into a caterpillar which will start eating your leaves, and then they result in this sort of damage that we saw before. Early on in the life cycles, when the eggs are first being laid and the caterpillars are starting to attack the crop, there's no real urgency to get stuck into and control them. But as the temperatures of summer start to, to, to climb, and as the life cycles speed up, then the pressure on the crop increases, and that's the time uh, which we choose to come in and put an insecticide over these crops. And if you go down to the growing point in the crop, which is down here in the middle, that's where the leaves that are going to be out in a month's time come from. So if you find that that's full of aphids or full of caterpillars, then there's a bit more urgency to treat your crop um, because you need to keep your canopy at full closure to drive maximum yields through the summer months.